Hey guys, it's me, Cubix, and today I'm going to review my new main speed cube, the Kong's Design Mei Ying. I'll be upfront and let you know right now that no, there aren't really any flaws with this cube, and yes, this cube will receive an excellent grade. The Kong's Design Mei Ying is $14 at Cube Depot, it stands 56mm tall and is beautifully stickered. The shades are the same as Moyu cubes, but they are fitted so much better. Everything is centered perfectly, and the stickers cover a large portion of the surface, which is what I prefer. The cube is also marvelously beveled. The straight, crisp edges on the outside complement the extremely rounded interior edges. This rounding continues onto the inside of the cube as well. Taking the cube apart, we see a familiar mechanism. The semi-old-school cubic structure was used in many other cubes, such as the Li Ying. However, the Mei Ying takes it a step further by rounding off nearly everything, including the base of the edge piece. The centerpiece and top of the edge piece are also significantly rounded, giving the outer appearance of the cube. The result of this rounding is a cube that can reverse corner cut like no other. Out of the box, on tight tensions, the cube is able to reverse corner cut four-fifths of the piece. Regular corner cutting was good as well, effortless at 45 degrees. If I were to nitpick, this would be where the Mei Ying falls short. There are cubes that can cut more than 45 degrees, but I don't know that it matters. The anti-popping mechanism works as expected. I've had no pops on this cube and it takes a lot of effort to even pry a piece out. Sometimes anti-popping mechanisms replace pops with catches, the Mei Ying does not. The cube is extremely fluid and there are no catch-ups or lock-ups that hinder the great corner cutting. The feel of the cube is also unique. It has a nice, smooth, crispy sound and feel. It's relatively quiet and is really fun to turn. The cube is decently fast and has gotten faster with breaking in, however the turning is very controllable and that only helps with the overall fluidity of the puzzle. I easily recommend the Kong's Design Mei Ying. The Mei Ying is a terrific cube and one of my all-time favorites. It's a cube that has everything I need. Good corner cutting, amazing feel, and overall great fluidity. I think it's a good cube for any level speed cuber. The cube is fast, but it's controllable, so you get the best of both worlds. For the final grade, I'm going to give the Kong's Design Mei Ying an A. I've seen a lot of cubes over the years, and at this point it takes a lot to surprise me. But the Mei Ying did exactly that. Not only is the cube a great performer, it's beautifully crafted as well. If I had to choose one word to describe this cube, it would be fun. This cube actually makes me want to practice and keep cubing for hours on end. If you would like to purchase the Kong's Design Mei Ying, the link is in the description. Let me know of any other cubes you would like me to review. Thank you all for watching, and until next time, toodles.